Hey, how you doing? Just a heads up. This is the introduction to the audiobook version of my book, Conversational Relationship Marketing. And if you're not sure what this is about, then the last episode just before this of the Client Catching Podcast uh, has me explain what I'm doing with this book and the audio version of it. And if you're interested, you can go back and listen to that. Or if you just want to get into the book and you've got here because you've got a copy of the book, then carry on listening. This is not a normal episode of the Client Catching Podcast. So If you've stumbled across this in the first time you're listening, this might seem a little bit different, but you can always go back and listen to some of the other episodes and interviews I've done with some amazing guests in the back catalogue. So make sure you do check some of those out. But otherwise, let's dive into the uh, introduction of the my book, Conversational Relationship Marketing. Conversational Relationship Marketing. 10 Golden Rules for B2B and Professional Service Businesses that Consistently Create Client Sales Opportunities and Drives Revenue Growth Using Professionalism, Ethics and Good Manners. The book is written by Adam King and also read by me, Adam King. To get all of the resources, the templates, the workbooks that you'll hear mentioned throughout this book, make sure you go and get your free copy of the book itself at thinklikeafish.co.uk forward slash free book. And you'll get all of the resources there. They're all there to, to, to link from the book. And the best part is there's not even opt in to get the book. So make sure you go and get that now and you can go, you can follow along with all the, um, with all the, the, the resources at thinklikeafish.co.uk forward slash free book. Introduction. Now I'm just going to dive in with what you can expect by listening to this book. Now, by the end, you'll know exactly how to ensure you consistently have a full calendar of motivated and qualified ideal potential clients who want to discuss how to work with you. Now, how's that for a strong statement to open up with? Well, you see, I've found that almost every problem in business, and I say almost every problem as you need to have the capacity to actually deliver what you promise to more clients, but every problem can be solved with a full calendar of ideal prospects who are eager to talk with you. Now, why am I so confident in saying this? Well, think about it. Do you ever say to yourself, we're pretty good in front of prospects and we win clients when we can talk to them but we're not talking to enough of them to reach our goals. Now, sadly, I hear this all the time. And it's a problem because if you're not filling the top of your pipeline and initiating that very first conversation through your marketing, you're going to struggle to generate enough demand and quality sales opportunities to grow. And yet on the flip side, when you have the ability to reliably fill your calendar with motivated and qualified ideal potential clients, You're able to make better decisions around things that will grow your business like hiring staff, entering new markets, launching new services, investing in new marketing activities and all the other, all the rest that we can think of because you have more than enough in the pipeline. In other words, growing a service business is just easier with a full calendar. But I'm guessing You're listening to this book because you've realized it's not always easy to figure out the exact right way of achieving this beyond what you know on your own, right? Now, I know this because the majority of my clients that I work with, they come to me at some kind of crossroads. Now, their business has been successful, established for a number of years, has an amazing track record, providing a great service that their clients highly value with the results to prove it. But they've realized that what they've done to achieve this success it isn't working to get them to the next level. They know that in order to reach that next level, they need to do something different. They just don't know where to start. So what I decided to do was create the ultimate guide on how to solve this problem. Now, I am literally giving away the exact strategy that my clients pay thousands to implement with them. And not only that, I'm going to share links to all the templates, frameworks and workbooks that you can use for free with no strings attached. And remember to get those workbooks and all the templates, go to thinklikeafish.co.uk forward slash free book and you'll get all of that. And again, no opt in. Now, maybe you're thinking, why would I do this? Well, 
There's a number of reasons because the first one is I know not everybody wants or can afford to invest in my high level services, yet I still want to support great companies who are making a positive difference by ensuring they're successful by executing marketing that is effective, valuable and profitable so they can better serve their clients, employees and create positive impact in their communities. Now, for many of us who sell services, Working hard gives us again a great sense of pride and I want to show more people that there's also a way to work smart so that your business works hard for you and so you can also enjoy your life while you do this, right? And my big why is that I want to help change the way businesses use marketing so it's more human, more effective and less crappy for the benefit of everyone. Right. Okay. Okay. Look, just in case your BS meter is going haywire right now. No, of course, this isn't a totally selfless act. You see, my evil scheme here is to earn your trust by actually helping you. Right. Now, there's a secret hack, right, for growing your business right there. You know, crazy idea. Actually help people first. Right. Now, I know a certain number of people who listen to this will think, wow, this is awesome, but I need a little bit of extra help to get this done. Because you know, I do know that information and strategy alone won't get the results. It requires implementation. So I figure if you like what you hear, maybe you'll want to talk about working together to implement this strategy. Maybe not. Either way, that's cool, right? So why should you read this book or listen to this book, right? Well, if you're selling B2B or professional services, it's likely you charge premium prices and work very closely with your clients. And this means it means it takes time to build quality relationships with your prospects to ensure they trust you to the point they're actually willing to invest with you to solve their problem. Now, the strategy that I'll be showing you, it's working great for me and those I've helped implement it. So, of course, I believe it can help you too. Honestly, I wouldn't have wasted my time, first of all, writing the book, then recording this audio version and also building my business around it if it didn't work. But I want to make something abundantly clear. While the strategy I'm going to show you is simple, it doesn't mean it's easy, which is why I'm not suggesting that everyone or anyone who actually listens to this is going to get the same results. Now, it's likely most people who listen to this will do little or, to be honest, nothing at all with what I'm about to share with you. And that's it's sad, but it's true because the reality is ideas and strategies alone won't get results, especially if you don't follow the directions as laid out, implement them and work hard. So unlike a lot of the or some of the marketing sharks out there, I won't be making any false promises of instant results at the push of a button or that I'm going to claim that I have a secret hack or a shortcut um, you know, that, that could, that, that could literally shortcut the reality of growing, a uh, growing a sustainable and profitable B2B or professional service business. You see, the truth is the only hack for growth is to follow a solid strategy based on proven principles and then consistently implement the right tactics at the right time. Now, clearly that's not as seductive as the latest shiny object being touted as the uh, instant millionaire millionaire maker this week, right? Well, it's not. And that's why this approach only works for those who are in this for the long term. That, to be honest, is the only, it's the only secret hack I'll share with you, right? Because yes, by following the process I'm about to lay out, you might be able to land a few quick wins, right? By being in essentially the right place at the right time. And I will be showing you a way to increase the probability of this happening. But with that being said, it's better that you approach this with the mindset that this is a process and a skill that you'll learn to consistently generate leads, clients, revenue, referrals, and partnerships over the long term. Now, This is so valuable. It's something that you learn. Once you learn, it can never be taken away from you. So no matter what's going on in the world, the economy, your industry, you'll always have a way to ensure you have a pipeline that is full. So maybe thinking, why should you listen to me? Right? Well, if this is the first time our ships have passed and you don't know me from Adam, 
I'll briefly introduce myself so you can trust that my advice, it comes from a place of being a practitioner who spent years in the trenches solving marketing challenges for people like you on a daily basis. After all, without context as to who developed this, you might be thinking, why should you listen to my advice? Now, I want you to see that none of this is theory, because if I do that, I know that you're far more likely to actually do something with it, and therefore, you are much more likely to get results. So, hello, I'm Adam King, the captain at growth marketing consultancy Think Like a Fish, and the host of the Client Catching Podcast. Now, I'm all about getting to the heart of what works, and, and I find that success leaves clues. And that I say that because after fishing in the marketing waters for over 17 years, today I focus on a time-tested business development strategy based on fundamental principles of human behavior that's worked for thousands of years. And I've added a modern twist that leverages the amazing opportunity that today's digital world offers. And you might have picked up, I really know how to milk a metaphor. I named my entire business on the back of one. And if you hate fishing, you should probably stop listening now, right? But, you know, with a with a company called Think Like a Fish, I'm often asked the question as to whether I'm a keen fisherman. Well, actually, I'm not. You know, sure, I've done it a few times. I've enjoyed it, but I don't list it as one of my hobbies. I just love the metaphor as it relates to marketing. And it goes a little bit like this. Successful fishermen go where the fish are hungry and plentiful. Successful businesses follow the same logic with their marketing. Not only that, successful fishermen think like the fish, not the fishermen. They understand their fish so well, they struggle not to catch them. After all, you can't catch a fish with chocolate cake, even if you love it, because fish loves worms, right? Yeah. I mean, that's just a bit of a play on, um, you know, on, on my, on the, on the fishing metaphor, but it's so important because so many of us in business that we resist the need to apply this same logic to our own clients. So many businesses struggle to catch a lot, of, you know, a lot of fish. You need to take the exact same approach to attracting, catching and growing your client base, which is exactly what I'm about to help you do today. So look, in the interest of stopping myself going off on one of my ADHD tangents, which I have a tendency to do, because this book is intended to be more about helping you and less about me, look, if you are so inclined, the best way you can get to know me a little bit better is by listening to the Client Catching Podcast. It's on all the um, all, all the players out there, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, it's now on Amazon. So, you know, just go and search that and, and yeah, you, you can... Uh, get to know me a little bit more, but more importantly, each week, my guests and I share actual business development and marketing strategies, ideas, and tactics for growing a B2B or professional service business. And you'll hear there's no hype, there's no false promises, just real strategies that work and real stories from the successful business owners, entrepreneurs, and marketing experts who have made them work. Okay, right. So that's enough about me because as you're reading this, right, I want you to be one of those who actually listens to this and gets results or I've just wasted a lot of time and effort to get this into your hands or your earbuds right so I want you to make a promise to yourself right now I want you to commit to actually implementing and not just consuming if not look just save yourself the time and go and do something else because seriously I'm not that entertaining right but if you're ready and committed I'm so excited to welcome you aboard my little boat here. And if you're ready to cast off, I'll guide you to where your fish are hungry and plentiful. So if you're ready, let's go fishing. So you might be asking yourself a question. What is conversational relationship marketing? Well, first, let me quickly tell you my definition of marketing where it comes to selling a B2B or professional service. See, the job of marketing isn't to close a sale is to start a conversation that could lead to a sale in the future, right? So with that in mind, conversational relationship marketing is a strategy built on time-tested principles of human behavior, conversations, and client engagement to help your business grow its revenue by 25 to 45% in six to 12 months. Well, that's the fancy elevator pitch anyway, right? But at its heart, it's simplicity. There's no overwhelm when you follow this 
strategy because you have clarity on exactly which activities you need to be doing in order to achieve the business growth goals that you set yourself. Because at its most basic and fundamental level, what you focus your activities on every day is simply starting and continuing conversations with a specific group of human beings who you can either add value to, do business with, or collaborate with, right? This is the philosophy at the center of everything I do, as it's, 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 it's essentially a principle that is stable in time. Now, with this as the guiding principle, I'm going to give you a process for what you, as the leader or as a leader responsible for revenue and client growth in a, in, in a B2B or professional service business, can and should be doing on a daily basis to proactively build your sales pipeline and land new clients while leading with service and value, or as I like to say, with professionalism, ethics, and good manners. Now, before we go on, I should highlight that this strategy, as I'm describing it here, it's going to be looking at using LinkedIn as the primary channel to start these conversations to help you generate leads and clients. But this can, and it does work, on any channel as the fundamentals of that professionalism, ethics, and good manners that are applicable to anywhere your potential clients are hanging out, both today and in the future. But for the reasons I'll quickly outline in a moment, LinkedIn is where we'll be focusing for this booked, right? So why LinkedIn? Well, because LinkedIn is hands down the best place for us B2B businesses and service providers because our perfect clients are on LinkedIn. You can find, connect, and build a relationship with hundreds, even thousands of potential clients with ease, all on one platform. And like other channels like Facebook and Instagram, people are showing up with their professional hat on, meaning when people are on LinkedIn, they're primarily looking to learn, connect, and network with people that can help them grow themselves, their business, or advance their career. Now, to use a rather crude fishing analogy and I do warn you, you'll get a few of these throughout the book. Again, you've been warned. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. LinkedIn is that barrel and the fish are your potential clients. And look, just to be clear, think like a fish. We operate a catch and release policy. So you don't actually shoot your prospects, right? That's where the crudity of the analogy falls down a little bit. But I hope you get the point, right? But bottom line. If you're selling B2B or professional services, you will not find a better platform online to generate new business opportunities than LinkedIn. However, look, the biggest mistake you can make is trying to sell somebody straight away. That's the biggest mistake I see people making when it comes to LinkedIn, and I'm sure you've been subject to those kind of things, right? People do not want to be sold on LinkedIn. It's a relationship first platform where most people today have a pretty finely tuned BS meter and they hate having their time wasted by unsolicited pitches. So maybe you're thinking, why is this different and why does it work? Well, maybe you've tried using LinkedIn for generating leads and clients in the past, but it hasn't worked. I hear this quite a bit when I introduce this to people. And look, if that is the case, they're rightly skeptical about the whole platform. I'm here to tell you that building relationships on LinkedIn and creating content that builds your authority to generate clients does work. You just need to know how to do it the right way. Now, many others in this space, the focus on spamming people using automation or focusing on what I call the fallacy of large numbers approach. Now, don't get me wrong. This used to work to a certain degree, but every platform matures and evolves and therefore people's expectations change. And what used to work stops being as effective the more people are exposed to the tactics that are being used. So the problem with the old way, well, today it alienates so many potential good prospects and it only tends to attract low quality ones. There's a, there's a, there's a quote that I use often, only the hungriest and weakest fish will bite on the crappiest bait. Not only that, it can harm your reputation and fill your calendar with time wasters. So, The approach that I'll be sharing here is focused on starting real conversations with only perfect potential clients that actually want to discuss what you do. And it's focused on quality over quantity, meaning you'll build authentic, genuine relationships by being curious about what's going on in your ideal client's world 
and understanding where they're trying to get to. So you can focus on helping them to solve the real challenges and problems that they're experiencing in their business. That's why this approach, it gets five to 10 or potentially more sales opportunities per week with only your perfect potential clients who are actually interested in what you do. Meaning that you can win more clients with less selling as you'll be maximizing your chances of closing a deal while saving time, not dealing with bad fits and doing more profitable deals faster. So the simplified version of what you'll achieve by the end of this book is, number one, you'll gain clarity on your one ideal client. Two, clarity on your one results-driven offer. Three, is you'll create a client-attracting LinkedIn profile that speaks to your ideal clients and compels them to want to find out more. Four, understand how to use advanced targeting and search strategies to find your ideal clients. Five, know how to build and use conversational conversational messaging frameworks that will allow you to connect with and have conversations with your ideal clients, create more sales opportunities and drive consistent growth. And six, have a clear roadmap to establish authority, trust and drive your ideal clients to your profile for inbound leads by publishing simple, consistent content on the platform. Now, you will do steps one to four just once and now and again you'll update or optimize them. And then if you do steps five and six every day, you will fill your pipeline with prospects. Now, the good thing about this strategy, it can be used by you, your sales team if you have one, or form the basis for how you'll grow your business with a team of people who have a tried and tested way to develop more business. Or you can hand a large part off to say a a virtual assistant if you have one. And if you don't, then I can highly recommend you listen to my interview with Dean Soto on the Client Catching Podcast on how to systemize your business with what he calls a virtual system architect using simple five minute videos. Now, at each stage, you simply want to advance the relationship. That's the whole thing behind this, because once you've taken somebody through this process, it then migrates to your usual sales process and you can begin to welcome new clients aboard. So by the end of this book, you'll have a systemized way to start and continue collaborative conversations with ideal clients, grow your revenue, network and authority, develop partnerships and increase referrals every day of the week. Now, there are 10 golden rules that you'll be following for maximum results. Just know that this strategy is principle based. It's not a do this, then do that approach. It allows you to adapt and evolve as you gain experience, feedback, and the platform changes. So it will always work. Now these golden rules, they each cover a fundamental marketing principle that when followed will have your pipeline flowing with prospects as quickly as possible without being a muppet. Each golden rule includes simple to execute action steps at the end for you to follow with links to workbooks, templates and resources that have been designed to be quickly implemented so you can start taking action, seeing results and growing confidence. And again, you can get those with the uh, if you go and get a copy of the book if you haven't already at thinklikeafish.co.uk forward slash free book. Now, typically you can expect to set aside 30 to 60 minutes a day executing, but you can do more or less according to your situation to generate more leads and prospects every single day. So that's it for the introduction and just to set up what this book is about. We'll be moving on to uh, golden rule number one in the next chapter. Thank you ever so much for listening today. I know there's a lot of podcasts out there you could be listening to. You've chosen this one. And for that, I am truly, truly grateful. If you're a first time listener or a a long time listener and you haven't yet subscribed to the show, please make sure that you do because you'll get updated of the latest episodes every time they come out. And if again, you are enjoying it, I'd really, really appreciate a honest rating review on Apple Podcasts. I read every single one personally, and they do really mean the world to me. And yes, they help others find the show. If you're able to do that, again, I massively, massively appreciate it. But until next time, happy fishing.